Hello everyone, I'm Doris Colgate. I'm the CEO and President of Offshore Sailing School and I learned to sail at Offshore Sailing School many years ago, back in 1967. I want to talk to you today about the importance of learning on a monohull. Now, when we do our Fast Track to Cruising course, we have two days on the Colgate 26, 26 footer with a tiller. And we do this because it's a very responsive boat and you can really get the feel. The minute you turn the helm on that boat when you're steering, you feel, you feel everything. But the next step is getting on a large cruising boat. And I'm standing right now on our Genoa 439, which is the boat that we prefer you start your big boat instruction on because it gives you so much strength in learning how to handle a very large boat. There's something truly awesome about being able to take a steering wheel like this and make a boat go wherever you want it to go with the wind, make the wind be your engine. You can't feel that on a catamaran. I know that a lot of people, a lot of you want to learn on a catamaran because you're gonna go charging on a catamaran. But the amazing thing about really learning to handle a large cruising boat is not only feeling how the wind makes it move, but it's the art and the science of how you learn to manipulate this boat to be under your control. Now there are three C's I feel about learning, particularly when you have a large boat, and that's confidence, comfort, and control. But there's a fourth C, which is competence. And to be a truly, truly competent big boat sailor, you should learn on a monohull. Now why is that? A monohull cuts through the water. A catamaran floats on it like a power boat. You don't really feel how the wind is making the boat move. You can't react quickly to how the boat, how the wind increases and what the boat is doing. And there's something truly amazing about getting that bite of the wind in your sail and having that boat heel over a little bit and a little bit more and I know this might be scary to some of you but it's not scary it's exciting and you are learning the science of making that wind hit the sails at the right time by trimming your sails the other thing about learning on a large boat like this with a big steering wheel and this one has two and I'm going to show you the other one in a moment is that you are working as a team you have winches here where somebody's going to put the uh, chip sheet on. You'll have a winch on the other side. So when you tack, one person is handling the sheet here, another person is handling the sheet there, and you learn to work as a team. This person is steering, the helms person, let's be politically correct about this, not helms land is going to call the shots. They're going to say, everybody ready? Ready about is the old term we used to use. When everyone says yes, they've got enough turns of the chip sheet on, on the winch, then the helmsman will start to turn the boat. Now, I wish I was out doing this, but we wanted to film it in a way, and I'm only using my iPhone, so that you could hear me, and I'm telling you my feelings about it. So. As we turn, now I'm the helmsman, I'm going to go over to the other side of the boat. Steve is helping me move the camera. And here I am on the other wheel. The other person who was working the jib sheet already had it in. We're now trimmed. And everything is going to work magically because we have a team. We have a team that's working together. When you're on a catamaran, you're actually on basically a big power boat with a mast and sailboat rigging. The cockpit is nothing like this. There's no room for everybody to sit around and communicate about what you're going to be doing with the boat. All the controls are sitting right next to a small steering wheel up high and everyone else is kind of scattered around the boat. So you do learn a lot, but you don't learn the essence of making a big boat sail to its maximum performance. 
and that's what I think is the most important. So when you're thinking, when you're thinking about learning to sail and then learning to cruise, consider that you should do it first on the monohull and then come back and do a catamaran endorsement program. Or if you don't have the time to do that and you wanna go cruising, a lot of the charter companies have friendly skippers that will go with you for a day to teach you how to manipulate that boat, basically, because it's got two big holes in docking and picking up a mooring. It's very different, but you will not, when you go from a Colgate 26 to a catamaran, you will not have that essence of sailing that is so important if sailing is truly what you want to learn and handling a big boat is what you want to learn. So that's why I want you to learn on a monohull. I'm going to go back on the other side. Steve, would you turn that? I'm going to tell you one more time about how amazing it is when you get out there under sail and the next time I talk to you, we'll be doing that under sail. And you feel that wind coming straight back, not straight back necessarily, but from an angle. And you're sailing upwind and you've got, you've got the boat in the groove. There's no way to put a catamaran in the groove upwind. There's no way to feel it slice through the water. There's no way to be able to adjust little bits so that if you don't like the, as much heel as you have, and I know a lot of people are scared to death of healing, don't be afraid of it because the first thing you're gonna do when you're healing is let the main sheet off if you, if you feel totally uncomfortable. You're gonna release the main sheet. That spills a whole lot of wind out of that sail and the boat will come more upright again. So you wanna be out there and really understand the science of making that sail capture the wind on every single point so you'll be close hauled you'll be as close as you can be you'll feel if you get a puff and the boat will come up a little bit you'll feel if you get pushed down a little bit you'll feel everything so that's my story i want you to come and learn to sail on a monohull and then getting on a catamaran is the easiest thing in the world if you have any questions, why don't you just give me a call? My direct line is 239-985-7511. And if I don't answer right away, I will call you right back. Or you can email me, doris at offshoresailing.com. Bye-bye.